battles, what were they told? What heritage do we have to preserve so that we become faithful stewards of this grace? For the Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Ghana, this conference is more than a conference. I have come in the spirit of Gideon to sound the shofar. And the Bible says that when Gideon sounded that alarm, 32,000 people heeded the alarm and they came. Because there is the prophetic birthing of something God is doing in Ghana. I can tell you this by the Spirit. Ghana, hear me. A season is coming to an end and a new season is opening up. It is a Kairos moment in the Spirit. I tell you this as touching the visions of the Spirit. There will be an emergence. It will start from your campuses. It will start from non-denominational prayer groups. God will begin to raise ordinary men and women. Ministries that have no name. They will just pray and pray until they evolve into the prophetic counsel of God. The spirit of revival and the move of God will move across your parliament, move across schools, educated and uneducated, all together because a season is coming to an end. The Bible says, and the sons of Isaac, who had an understanding of the time, you must learn how to read the writings of the world. Therefore, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I sound that shofar over Ghana. Arise in the name that is above all names. I speak to the spiritual climate by the privilege of access to this altar. In the name that is above all names, we open up the vistas by the Spirit. We sound the alarm upon the holy mountain. Maranatha, come revival. Maranatha, come the grace for prayer. Maranatha, come the move of God. Maranatha, come men of fire. The Boras, arise. Elijah's, arise. Samson's, arise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In one minute, I want you to begin to pray in the spirit as we wrap up. Where are the men who watch upon the wall? Stand upon your watch. Where your priestly regalia? Give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem. Just one minute and we're done. Go ahead. Paris Katina Tash Katabata. Parigate Katos Koto Brendegedia. Where are the men and the women who know how to hold on to the horns of the altar? Ghana, I speak to you. A season is ending and another is beginning. Lift up your eyes and lift up your heads. Your salvation draw it near. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I want to plead if His Eminence will grant me that opportunity so that tomorrow will be a miracle and impartation service tonight. Where we will trust God to stir up ancient wells and ancient fountains. But for tonight, my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. 
my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed the impartation you are receiving tonight is the spirit of prayer and supplication something will mantle you tonight at the count of three I want to release that grace and we wrap up my God and his majesty the one I serve I pray over men and women young and old across the length and breadth of Ghana the overflows following online in the name that is above all names I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus and in honor to the grace upon his eminence I decree and declare Ghana at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and let this mantle cloak you the grace to travel until you shift climates are you ready now one two three shout Jesus take that grace take that grace take that mantle take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ pray in the morning pray in the afternoon pray in the night legislate on behalf of his majesty until kingdom come Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands all over. All over this place. <clears throat> we have to be very sensitive. Hear me. It's not the shouting and the crying. It's sensitivity. Keep your hands up. While we were praying upstairs, before our apostle came so we can surround him and pray with him the Lord gave me a prophetic word and I declared it to the intercessors because we've been in fasting for days now and prayer and the Lord said tell my people and declare that says the Lord for those that shall receive it that from tonight I didn't know what he was going to preach on and I declared it to them he said tell them that henceforth the overflow and the supernatural activity of God will become the new order of the day Lift up your hands. Create in me a clean heart. Oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Lift up your hands. Everybody sing it now. Create
The nations shall arise. The nations shall arise. The nations shall hear the sound of the footsteps of the Lord. The nations shall hear the sound of the approach of the Lord. For I hear a new thing is coming and there is a sound of the footsteps of the Lord that he will do a new thing and it will resound in nation after nation, in continent after continent, Get ready for a generation shall hear and see a tap on the shoulder and they will arise to go forth. Kun Sturahan Debi Kutum Levandu Kusawan the Handala Huns Zofu Kan Tumahan Le Kutum Ulahan Kusadaha. I raise my army and call forth my army. I call forth my people to come out of obscurity, to come out of comfort zones. I raise my people and I speak a word. Come forth out of resting places. Come forth out of hiding places. Join the army for the nations are here. The sound of the footsteps of my army and change is coming. Change is coming. Salanda <laughs> Kawahan. People cool ones, Salawahanda, who fooms to do Horses are coming, horsemen are coming, chariots are coming, chariots of fire, horses of fire, swords of fire. The army of the Lord is coming with fire. Even as they surrounded Elisha, so shall the army of the Lord surround the instruments of God in this season. Many yokes shall be broken. Nations shall receive a complete transformation. My army is rising. My army is rising. My people are rising. Lift up your hands. Tonight, tonight, keep your offerings, take it home, bring it back tomorrow, and I'll tell you why. There's an atmosphere here, and if we go into offerings, we will break the experience because something is going on here with you 
and I don't want you to break the experience. So right where you are, lift up your hands. We want to close and go home. And we will be back tomorrow morning. Remember, we are fasting. So we have morning glory, the prophetic and prayer tomorrow morning. Don't miss it. And then tomorrow night we'll be back with your hands lifted up. Wherever you are, across the nations, all over television and the internet, I hereby commend you unto God and to the charge of the angel of the covenant to keep and preserve you in your going out and your coming in and that this experience and cloud of glory that has tabernacle upon you will continue with you home and will bring you back tomorrow in the morning and in the evening without fail the Lord plead your cause with them that strive with you the Lord fight against them that fight against you and give you a new experience like you have never known it before in the name of he who died and laid in the grave and arose triumphant on the third day and ascended above all thrones, dominion, principalities and powers and above all the heavens and is seated on the right hand of the Father to ever make intercession for us. In his name, you are dismissed and remain where you are standing. Nobody move.